after the 2007 United Nations Climate Change Conference on the island Bali in Indonesia in December 2007 the participating nations adopted the Bali Roadmap as a two-year process to finalizing a binding agreement in 2009 in Copenhagen. The conference encompassed meetings of several bodies, including the 13th Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change in the third meeting of the parties to the Kyoto Protocol. The Bali Roadmap includes the Bali Action Plan that was adopted by Decision 1, CP, 13 of the COP13. It also includes the Ad Hoc Working Group on Further Commitments for Annex I Parties under the Kyoto Protocol negotiations and the 2009 deadline, the launch of the Adaptation Fund, the scope and content of the Article 9 review of the Kyoto Protocol, as well as decisions on technology transfer and on reducing emissions from deforestation. Bali Action Plan Pillars The Conference of Parties decided to launch a comprehensive process to enable the implementation of the Convention through long-term cooperative action, now up to and beyond 2012 by addressing a shared vision for long-term cooperative action, including a long-term global goal for emission reductions, enhanced national international action on mitigation of climate change. Enhanced Action on Adaptation Enhanced Action on Technology Development and Transfer to Support Action on Mitigation and Adaptation Enhanced Action on the Provision of Financial Resources and Investment to Support Action on Mitigation and Adaptation and Technology Cooperation Dot cutting emissions. The nations acknowledge that evidence for global warming is unequivocal, and that humans must reduce emissions to reduce the risks of severe climate change impacts, and emphasize the urgency to address climate change. There was a strong consensus for updated changes for both developed and developing countries, although there were not specific numbers agreed upon in order to cut emissions. The decision recognized that there was a need for deep cuts in global emissions and that developed country emissions must fall 10 to 40 percent by 2020. Mitigation Enhanced Action on Mitigation of Climate Change includes entirely nationally appropriate mitigation commitments or actions by all developed countries, nationally appropriate mitigation actions by developing countries, cooperative sectorial approaches and sector-specific actions, ways to strengthen the catalytic role of the convention. Dot. Forests The nation's pledge, policy approaches and positive incentives on issues relating to reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation in developing countries and enhancement of forest carbon stock in developing countries. This paragraph is referred to as Red Plus Adaptation. The nations opt for enhanced cooperation to support urgent implementation of measures to protect poorer countries countries against climate change, including NAPAs, impacts, technology, in technology development and transfer. The nations will consider how to facilitate the transfer of clean and renewable energy technologies from industrialized nations to the developing countries. This includes entirely removal of obstacles to and provision of financial and other incentives for scaling up the development and transfer of technology to developing country parties in order to promote access to affordable environmentally sound technologies. Ways to accelerate the deployment, diffusion and transfer of such technologies. Cooperation on research and development of current new and innovative technology, including win-win solutions. The effectiveness of mechanism and tools for technology cooperation in specific sectors. Dot. 
Finance, provision of financial resources and investment includes improved access to predictable and sustainable financial resources and the provision of new and additional resources, including official and concessional funding for developing country parties, positive incentives for DCP for national mitigation strategies and adaptation action, innovative means of funding for DCP that are particularly vulnerable to the adverse impacts of climate change in meeting the costs of adaptation, incentivization of adaptation actions on the basis of sustainable development policies, mobilization of funding and investment, including facilitation of climate-friendly investment choices, financial and technical support for capacity building in the assessment of costs of adaptation in developing countries, to aid in determining the financial needs. Ad hoc working groups. The conference decided to establish two subsidiary bodies under the convention to conduct the process, the Ad Hoc Working Group on Long-Term Cooperative Action and the Ad Hoc Working Group on Further Commitments for Annex I parties under the Kyoto Protocol, that were to complete their work in 2009 and present the outcome to the COP15-5 Makhnis Patakas, the AWGLCA and AWGKP presented draft conclusions to COP15 and CMP5, which contained many unresolved issues. The working groups were subsequently asked to report to COP16 and CMP6 in Cancun, Mexico. Timescales. Four major UNFCCC meetings to implement the Bali Roadmap were planned for 2008, with the first to be held in either March or April and the second in June, with the third in either August to September followed by a major meeting in Poznan, Poland in December 2008. The negotiations process was scheduled to conclude at the United Nations Climate Change Conference 2009 in Copenhagen, Denmark.